Right, ladies and gents, just a quick update. This is the cookery I did in a previous video. Um, plasma cut out. Um, modified my grinder a bit so I can G up and do the grind on there. Um, but as suggested by Young Zero Pence, I've got some of these um, flap discs. Um, I'm not actually sure what grit they are. Um, but just to take the worst of it off. Because Zero Pence dis uh, so he's, he recommended it just for when you're taking away because it's so, so thick there. Um, so, to have a little quick recap, um, I've got a 6 mil drill. Just to show you, it's not a six mil drill, but you get a drill the same thickness as your steel, and you give it a good scratch right long, way along the middle. So then you'll end up obviously three mil up, three mil down, bang on the centre. So this is all I started. So this is where we are now. So it's got so it's flat. One radius and then a second radius, if you can see that in the light. Still needs a lot of tidying up and a lot of polishing, but we're getting there. And I've also put um, like the rib breakers on the front as well, just to give it a bit of a bit of style. See that? And then that's the uh, the double-handed kind of uh, Lord of the Rings elven sword grip. Which uh, yeah, gives it sort of a real nice edge to it. So there you go. Let's go see if it works. My um, trusty testing block. Very little effort. <laughs> Might be on it. Update on the um, axe that I won from um, Urban Dodger, um, the American Tomahawk Company. Cold Steel, um, Spike Hawk. See, I remembered the name. Anyway, whoops. so start at the bottom. We, where are you? Right, so we've got a root there, and then we've got a vine going all the way up to the top, and then we've got a castle at the top and some clouds. Because it is a little Jack and the Beanstalk, which I thought was really appropriate for an axe. Yeah, very hard to sort of see all in one go. Um, I've given this a quick regrind as well because it's uh, was like a spoon. So we're going to see how that looks as well. That's not bad. <laughs> 